Hi everyone, welcome to my annual beauty haul. I've got a lot of products to show you, so let's just jump right into it. The first haul I'm gonna share is one that's from Sephora. I got these two samples, which are both fragrance samples. I didn't specifically request these, but I guess they ran out of the ones that I had selected. I redeemed some of my points for these two items. This one here is a Bumble and Bumble surf spray. The other product is a cleansing volumizing paste from Christoph Robin. The two items that I purchased are both cleansers. I purchased my favorite cleansing oil. This is by Tatcha. It's awesome. I also decided to try this one from the brand Pharmacy. It's the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I made two separate orders from Desium because they didn't have the product that I wanted in stock when I made my original purchase. For my first order, I restocked on some of my favorites. This is the 60 milliliter version, so the larger bottle of the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. I love this serum. I also picked up two of the Matrixyl 10% plus hyaluronic acid. These are the smaller bottles, and I've already dug into one of them because I am running low and running out of the products that I purchased last year. So I did a pretty good job last year in terms of um, budgeting how much to buy. I think I overdid it on the oils though. I usually use three in a year, and I ended up buying four during the sale. I purchased two bottles of the Marula oil, and two bottles of the 100% plant-derived hemisqualane. I was also very curious to try this product ever since it came out. This product has been out for a few months, but I decided to wait until November so I could purchase it when I was doing my annual beauty purchases. This is the Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. So this is supposed to promote the look of thicker, fuller, and healthier lashes and brows, a product that I am very intrigued by. I used to use Latisse, as some of you know, Know, but that product is very expensive and I decided it wasn't something I needed in my life but The Ordinary is offering a much more reasonably priced alternative so I had to try it out. The item that was out of stock when I was placing my initial order at Desium is this product which I bought four of. This is the Argeraline Solution 10% and this is probably my favorite product from The Ordinary. It targets the appearance of dynamic facial lines and I find that it really does work. I do go through one of these every three months or so. That was really all I needed for my second order but I did add this to my basket and this is the 100 milliliter tube of the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus Hyaluronic Acid. So I am um, just about maybe halfway or three quarters of the way through my current tube and I do have one backup but just in case I run out of that I decided to buy one more. Moving on to a haul from a company called well.ca I restocked on the cream that I use to moisturize my hands and feet before going to bed every night. I was using the product by Cake and I really really love that product but they were out of stock so I decided to buy this one instead. This I have used before and I did really like it. It's the Utterly Smooth Shea Butter Foot Cream. I bought three tubs because I ended up going through this type of product a lot faster than I had anticipated. So this should last me a full year, plus I have a little bit left of the cake product that I'm using right now. I also bought three of my favorite facial mist, and this is the Divine Essence Organic Damask Rose Floral Water. I love this product, I use it twice a day. So I use this as a toner and it is awesome. Just a beautiful dose of aromatherapy, nothing too um, strong in terms of fragrance, and it's just very refreshing and a lovely facial mist. I also bought six lip balms from a brand called Hurrah. My friend recommended this brand and I do really like it, but I'm still looking for my favorite scent. Right now I'm using the Moon Lip Balm and I'm about more than halfway done. This one's okay, I don't think I would repurchase it. The other scents that I purchased were the Lemon, the Almond, the Coconut, the Sun Lip Balm, which is Tangerine Chamomile, and the Coconut Mint Lemongrass. Moving on to a very small haul from a lavender farm that's based in Niagara, Ontario. I purchased one set of lip balms and they sent me this product for free. There were a few more things in my order, but those are gifts. The only thing that was for myself 
was this set of three lip balms. So this is in the Pure Grapefruit, the Lavender, which I've tried and I loved, and also the Watermelon scent. The free product that they sent me is this Candy Cane Shampoo Bar. The last set of products is from Atomy. This is the Atomy Lip Glow, which is a color-changing balm. It's very similar to the Dior Lip Glow, and it's a fraction of the price, so I purchased two of these. I also bought this, which is a Reset Balm. This is a skincare type balm. I think you can um, use it under the eyes and just on any areas where you might be getting fine lines. I have to read up on this a little more. It's been a while since I placed the order, but um, I'm very excited to try this. I also purchased the Soft Brow Pencil. I'm eager to see how this compares with the Anastasia Brow Wiz because this is a fraction of the price. I only purchased one in case I didn't like it. This here is the Nourishing Foot Cream and I thought I would give this a try. I don't think I would buy this going forward because it's a little more expensive than the alternatives, but I was really curious about it. This product is from Atomy's line that is marketed towards men and it is the Energizing All-in-One Essence. Hubby likes this product, so I purchased this for him. I really wanted to try the oil serum mist, so I picked up one of these. I'm very eager to try it to see what the texture is like, um, whether I would use it more as a facial mist, a serum, or an oil. I'm just very intrigued by this product. I restocked on the hand therapy. This is a set of four hand creams, and they're just really, really lovely creams. I like them better than the Lossa 10 hand creams, so um, I've got four more in my collection. I think I have another set still in my stash. I purchased the Marine Ampoule Eye Patch. I've had my eye on this product for a while. They're either out of stock when I make my purchases or I just haven't remembered to pick them up, so I'm very eager to give these a try. I purchased two of the Atomy Herbal Body Cleansers. I have been using this product for a few months now and I really like it, so I decided to go ahead and buy a couple more. The last item that's in the beauty category is Oral High Hygiene. I purchased not one, but two packages of the toothpaste. So this is uh, 10 tubes of toothpaste. I've already opened one, as you can see, because um, we were out. But this is an interesting product because for some reason, I can never remember that there is mint in here. Someone asked me the other day whether there's mint in the Atomy toothpaste. I'm like, no, no, there isn't, but there is. <laughs> When I was brushing my teeth that night, I was like, oh yeah, I taste mint. And there's actually a mint leaf right on the box. I'm not sure what it is, but the mint that they use in the Atomy toothpaste, it's more of like, um, I don't know, I don't really notice it as much. It's not like that mint forward to me. So that is it for my annual beauty haul. Please let me know down below if you took advantage of the sales in November to pick up any beauty products. I would love to hear some of the products that you bought that you were particularly excited to try. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will be back very soon with another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.